The ocean's deadliest monster wasn't killed by a meteor. It was starved to death. Imagine an ocean ruled by a 60-foot shark. The megalodon, its bite, could crush a whale's skull like a grape. For millions of years, it was the undisputed king. Nothing could challenge it. Nothing could escape it. Its shadow moving through the water meant instant death. It hunted the largest prey, the ancient whales that swam the prehistoric seas. Its life was a cycle of pure, brutal dominance. The ocean was its kingdom, and everything in it was its food. Then, the world began to change. Ice ages gripped the planet. Sea levels dropped, rewriting the coastlines. The megalodon's warm, shallow nurseries vanished. Its food source, the great whales, either adapted or died. They moved to colder, polar waters where the megalodon couldn't follow. Suddenly, the king of the ocean was patrolling an empty kingdom. The colossal shark, a creature built to eat giants, was now struggling to find a meal. Its massive size, once its greatest strength, became its fatal weakness. A body that big needs a constant supply of massive calories. But the buffet was closed. Smaller, faster, more adaptable predators were now thriving. The great white shark, a distant, smaller cousin, emerged. It was nimbler, smarter, and could survive on smaller prey like seals and dolphins. While the megalodon was a battleship searching for a naval fleet, the great white was a submarine picking off smaller targets with lethal precision. The giant began to waste away. Hunger gnawed at it. Its immense power faded. The last megalodons swam through empty oceans, their vast territories now barren of the life that once sustained them. The tyrant of the deep wasn't overthrown in a glorious battle. It was slowly, mercilessly, erased by an enemy it couldn't bite, hunger. It faded into extinction, leaving behind only fossilized teeth the size of a human hand. But what if something else was hunting in those same waters? A creature just as intelligent, just as deadly, but a mammal. And it had just learned to hunt in packs.